Hi everyone, welcome back to our series where we take Nicki Minaj, Beyonce and Ariana Grande to explore Batu in The Sims 4. Right now we have Nicki checking some more IDs to complete her aspirations. And after that we're gonna send her to the shop to get her first toys. And for her, I chose the BB series. I wanted to actually give her uh, all pink droid, but there's no option for that. So we're just gonna have to be happy with the purple ones. And for the name, I decided to call it BB Hates. <laughs> As you know, opposed to BB Hates from the movies. I did not come up with that. I very much stole that name from Tumblr. So. Uh, shout out to whoever came up with BB Hates in the first place. And now let's have her interact with the droid for a bit. Um, she's not doing so well to begin with. I think the droid is not very enthusiastic about the first order, or at least not as much as she is. So they're not getting along very well to begin with. But hopefully, with time, we'll be able to develop their relationship a bit more and after g several tries of trying to befriend the droid i actually just told her to scold it <laughs> but then that just made her lose more <laughs> points and in the meantime beyonce is just taking a nap in a public bench and she's having much more luck with her droid and they get along just fine. It even does this little dance for her when they talk, which is pretty cute. And at this point, I saw Ariana Grande's tank team in the middle of Batu, and I found out that it was actually because BB Hate shocked her. It just autonomously went there and shocked Ariana and made her lose all of her energy. While Beyonce tries to hack in the mainframe, but she didn't have any luck and she got shocked like a million different times. Meanwhile, back in the cantina, Ari is completing her UPS delivery for the turtle guy. And Ari decided to chat with this sim here that is just holding a pistol in the middle of the cantina. Must be a Republican. While in the First Order District, guess what? Nikki is still checking IDs. I swear to you, she had to check like 15 million IDs for all her missions and aspirations. It got quite boring at some point, but that's what it is. But then she finally moved on to actually just harassing the citizens instead of just checking their IDs. And BB-8 completely abandoned Nikki to go after Ariana, but mind you, not to befriend her, but to actually shock her a bit more and make her faint again. So while Ari decides to take another nap in the middle of the street, Nikki is back to harassing random citizens. And she's doing a pretty good job as a bully. And so she's just walking around Batu like a boss. While in the resistance camp, Bay got a job as a metal worker for the resistance. And she's just working on the X-Wing to actually fix the damage that she made herself in her first mission flying it. Now she's about to go exploring with the X-Wing and we'll see if she has any luck. And as you can see here, not many options were available because she didn't have all she needed or the necessary skills to complete the mission properly. But she came back alive and the X-Wing is not too damaged, so let's count that as a win, okay? And Nikki was feeling so confident that she actually walked in the resistance camp to try to arrest somebody as part of her aspiration to get prisoners for the first order. But she got her ass kicked. Again, so Nikki went to the cantina to drown her sorrows, and she actually ran into the cute guy from Batu. Actually, the only cute guy from Batu. That's important to say. And we're gonna have her flirt with him a little. You know, she's feeling it. He's not that in the mood for it, unfortunately. But she managed to get their relationship 
point up a bit and she's feeling confident she's feeling less and we're gonna try for some romantic interactions right here unfortunately <laughs> that didn't go too well so I'm trying once again to finish the mission with Beyonce for hacking into the First Order database while Nikki is just harassing more people around Batu. And this guy just decided to check on Bay, you know, like, let me see your ID, are you with the Resistance or the First Order? But she managed to get away from this First Order agent by showing him some fake ID. Meanwhile, Nikki is also in a mission in which she needs to fly the Thai Echelon and she actually has much more options for how to proceed than they had. So apparently Nikki was a bit more prepared with a droid and a pistol. And that didn't surprise me because Beyonce only wanted to nap on public benches instead of actually doing her missions. So Ari needs to use a hollow table for her next mission and she was just trying to hack into the first order base to access their hollow table but she didn't have any luck and she got shocked for the millionth time and she also got almost got arrested and had to show some fake ID to manage to escape the first order agents like they did right so she learned it with Bay. Bay did it first so she decided to hack into the resistance base instead but they also had some people watching her and in the end she actually had to get in a fight to access the table but she lost and got kicked out of there right away Meanwhile, instead of doing any missions, Bay is just socializing with Ray, and they're becoming quite good friends. While Ari tries to argue her way out of being kicked out of the resistance camp. <laughs> but that didn't work either, so she had to fight again. This random scene from the resistance, and this time she won, so she finally managed to access the holo table and get the information that she needed for her mission. Meanwhile, back in the First Order base, Nikki is trying to find the traitor of the First Order while Beyonce just does her thing as usual. I had no idea why she had that hyperfixation with that particular bench, but every single time I left her unattended, she went there to take a nap. But hopefully she's now feeling well rested, refreshed, you know, she woke up like this to fly the X-Wing and this time she got lucky and completed the mission without any issues whatsoever. So she went back to the cantina with Ari and I just found those two drinks floating in midair and I decided to have them drink it because why not? If I found a drink floating in the air in the club, I would drink it too, so my team should do the same, right? But for their next mission, Ari and Nikki had to go to the First Order District, and when they get there, who's waiting for us? Two bad bitches serving us some iconic looks. Sasha Velour is shook right now. I know it's a glitch, but I just found it hilarious to see this guy, <laughs> this bold guy wearing a pencil skirt and a nice green blouse. Like, how iconic is that? If I was in Batu, I would probably be dressed like that as well. Back in the First Order base, Beyonce is hacking into one of their crates right in front of Kylo Ren and the lieutenant, and they didn't seem to care a bit. She's that powerful. While Nikki finally found the traitor of the First Order, and she's got to take him to Kylo Ren, who is going to decide what to do with him. And as you can see, Nikki and Kylo are getting along pretty well. And when the traitor finally arrives, Kylo Ren proceeds to choke him. But he has this expression in his face that kind of says like, choke me Zaddy, and then they immediately went to a dark alley after that. So conclude what you want from that.
Now for her next mission, Nikki had to sabotage the X-Wing in the resistance camp, but Rey actually interrupted her with some Jedi magic trick that just got her dazed and sent her away from the camp. No fighting or anything. <laughs> so Nikki went back to the cantina and the turtle guy is just showing off his iconic dance floor moves for us yet again. While Beyonce just arrived in the function and Ari is actually getting her first ride from the junkyard. And her droid is an R series, so I just decided to name it R E. Get it? R E. Ari. I'm so smart. And so we're gonna have her interact with her new droid for a little bit, just slice up their relationship points. I don't know if that makes any difference when you use the droid interactions, but just in case, I wanted them to be at least friendly with each other before I started sending it to do missions for her. In the meantime, back in the cantina, Beyonce is just enjoying her watermelon juice and double wielding it with another mysterious drink from Batu. And she had a bit too much, she's feeling a bit tipsy, so she just decided to show these epic moves on the dance floor that you see right here. While Nikki has some uncomfortable moments with the turtle guy. Now as you know, Nikki is multi-talented and she's just using her handmade skills to upgrade her droid a bit to improve its performance while it's doing missions with her. While Ari finally unlocked a new outfit after doing the mission and we're gonna try it out right away and it turns out that it's just something very similar to what was already unlocked in the beginning and it's this generic scoundrel outfit which is not really something that I think Ariana Grande would ever wear even if she were in Batu but that's the best we have to work with so that's what we're putting her in. Ari, if you're watching this, please don't hate me. And so the outfit is so awful that Ari is even feeling sad because of it. And she's going around trying to bribe people to get some information for her next mission, but she's not having any luck with that. Like nobody wants to take her credits. And Beyonce is just doing her thing and resting and, you know, feeling herself. While Nikki actually got her first lightsaber that I wanted to be pink, but that's what we had to work with. So I just gave her the red one because she's kind of a Sith Lord. And Nikki's doing her first lightsaber duel while Beyonce literally brought the popcorn to watch it. And of course, here I had very low expectations because Nikki was battling for the very first time so I just assumed she would get her ass kicked like she did getting in all these fights that she got before but to my surprise she actually defeated this, um, this challenger from Batu you know so I think she's very skilled with the lightsaber and we have a stormtrooper here just feeling it you know he's just living for this little battle and in a minute now, Nikki will defeat her and get her credits. And that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoy it. Make sure you like it and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you soon with more of Nikki, Ari and Bay exploring Batu in the final chapter of their adventure. Bye!